hello, hello, hi, everyone, and welcome to this. Uh, I'm broadcasting live, actually, from my camper van. I'm hoping that this is working okay. Um, but today's video is all going to be is going to be about successorizing yourself to a multiple six figure business. So let's talk about that. So first of all, if you've never seen me before, if this is the first time you've ever watched one of my videos, my name is Abigail Rebecca, I'm a visibility coach, and I empower um, visionary entrepreneurial women to be highly visible, to amplify their leadership, and to grow their business to six figures on their own terms. And um, today's really is gonna be about using accessories to grow your business. Now, it's just wearing accessories <laughs> isn't going to grow your business on its own, but it does play a big part in that. And uh, you might not believe me <laughs> as I'm uh, discussing this with you. So I just want to kind of put my point across and maybe you will change your opinion about it. Or maybe you're like, yeah, totally. Like accessories uh, are really going to help me. So um, it's interesting actually to do this live video from the camper van because I'm normally in my office. So I feel a little bit disembobulated. Is that the word? Is that how you say it? Um, but it's lovely. I'm like um, um, in the van. I'm facing the sea. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've been doing lots of training today. So it's really nice to come on and um, do this live with you. So if you're watching me live, then please come on and say hello. Because I am actually live streaming. Um, and I'll only see, I can see how many people are watching, but I'll only know who it is unless you come and say hello. So come and say hello. And if you're watching the replay, say hello. If you've got any questions, then I am here with you for the next 15 minutes. Okay. So when we talk about, um, mm, what's the best way to put it? Like our um, business brand and our personal brand, we often refer to well first of all like our br uh, like our business branding like our branding colors oh hi angie it's nice to see you um so you know we talk a lot about like you know how our website looks how our social media looks the colors that we're using i was having a call yesterday with a client and she's looking at she's actually launching a new product and looking at you know what colors is, is she going to use to represent it and she's a money coach so we're looking at really lush like rich purples and golds and oranges i love the idea of purple by the way for wealth because it's a very royal color so um so obviously there's all these things that we have to look at you know as we are um you know maybe like rejigging and and growing our business and how we represent ourselves on our websites etc and then of course there's like the environment that we work in so we often hear a lot about that so you know decluttering your environment having a beautiful workspace and we all know the power of that i'm sure most of us have seen marie kondo you know on netflix and we've got a good idea about feng shui and um we know that you know to declutter we have a clear vista which means that we become less stressed if you didn't know that that's an actual fact um because if we've got clutter all around us then we can't see our enemies on the horizon coming towards us so it's a real like um it's it's a it's a it's a it's a very basic um need that we have to have this uh you know clear um vista and uh de decluttered um around us and you know i again i have i have a couple of clients who um do you know like interior designs and things like that so i love to hear like their concept around it and then of course it comes to the other part of you know personal branding i guess which is your personal image so how you look how you present yourself to the world has a huge impact and part a big part of that are your accessories a huge part of that actually um you've probably heard me speak before about the fact that i i manifest through my clothes in fact i was um 
uh, being um, interviewed on a podcast the other day when I talked about, well, it's a summit actually, when I talked about this very thing, you know, we were discussing, it was with another stylist and we were discussing about how you can actually um, use your clothes to manifest because obviously when we feel good about ourselves, when we dress up, when we're like, feeling really good then that lifts our vibration and when our vibration is vibra when like that we are vibrating when we are vibrating at higher frequency we often bring other things into our world that are vibrating at that high frequency so that is manifestation that's law of attraction um so anything that we can do to feel good about ourselves including dressing up is always a good thing but what, and you can totally do that with your um, accessories. Now, I love this word, successorizing. Um, I don't know if you've seen, but this this amazing show on Netflix at the moment, and it's called Love on the Spectrum. Um, and check it out. I freaking love it. It's in, um, I think they've just released like a second series, and I binge watched both of them. And there was a, a, a girl on there um, that was going out on a date and she was speaking about um, what she was wearing and she was like, yeah, like she was talking about her necklace and her rings and she was like, yeah, I'm successorizing. And her mum was like, what does that mean? And she was like, well, I'm accessorizing for success. And I was like, oh my God, I totally need to use that phrase because it's such a great description of what you can actually achieve. You can achieve success through your accessories. Um, and I like to refer to it as conscious adornment. So we are adorning our body in beautiful things. The accessories are just like the finishing touches. So we've got our outfit, we put our accessories on. And if we're very, very conscious in the way that we do that, then it's something that can really help us build our business. So how does it build our business? Well, first of all, we have to have clients or we have to have customers. We do need to have people that are buying our services or our product, products in order to have a business, right? I'm sure that you'll agree. Comment below <laughs> if you agree. Because otherwise, if we don't make money from something, we're, it's just a hobby, okay? So we want to be making money in our business. We want to be bringing in money. And how we do that is we attract people in. Now, very often people are attracted to us not because of what we do, but actually who we are, like our energy, our aura. You know, if you think about me as a visibility coach, there are thousands and thousands of coaches all over the world that do exactly the same as I do. And I'm sure that they are all incredible and get the most wonderful results for their clients. Okay. But there's a reason why my clients come and work with me and don't work with them. There's something about me that they like. There's something about me that they resonate with. And that's why they decide to invest in themselves by coming and working with me or coming on one of my retreats or joining the Illuminated Leaders online global community. And not only do they get me in that community, they also get one another. So you are attracting people in through um, your accessories and also you know as I said before you are like really if you feel good then you're going to be going out and you're also going to be like not only happy and blissful and people like to be around happy and blissful people most of the time they like to be around happy and blissful people um but also um like it's just a way that you can actually send a clear signal to the universe and to your environment about what you stand for. So let me give you an example. Um, I when the the reason that I use conscious adornment is that I am very very conscious about the accessories that I use because they actually tell a story about who I am without me not necessarily having to explain myself. So let me give you an example of this. Um, oh my goodness, oh, it's a bit rude. <laughs> um, I bought these the other day, right? So I found this incredible jewelry designer 
who sells these, can you see them? They're called, I think she calls them nail cuffs. I mean, they're absolutely incredible. Can you see them here? Little nail cuffs, and you put those over your nails, right? Um, and this is a jewelry designer in Jaipur, in India, and Jaipur is very renowned for, you know, there's a lot of creatives, artistic people that work there, um, and a lot of people that are really um, incredible masters at making jewelry. And this is a really conscious business, obviously, <laughs> I checked it out and made sure that, you know, my little nail curves weren't made by tiny little children. They're actually made by adults who are being paid um, quite handsomely for them. Um, but, you know, this says uh, that, you know, I'm probably a little bit quirky, a little bit alternative, maybe like a little bit hippie, potentially. So anyone that kind of like uh, feels like that themselves, like any of my potential clients or collaborators or investors or friends or anything like that will be attracted to that. Okay, so that's one thing. Um, it's So I ask myself, does it represent me? And I do feel that my accessories represent me so these are the questions that i want to ask you when you ask yourself when you're putting on your accessories first of all do they represent you do they represent who you are secondly will they attract your tribe so this is a really good example right my necklace now a funny story about this today I was sat in the camper van. I'd got no intentions of going anywhere. And my pen, I was journaling, my pen ran out. I was like, oh, I need my pen. So I drove, like I got my, my, I got in the driver's seat, drove around, went to a supermarket, um, couldn't find any pen, the queues were massive. So I was like, Ugh. okay. So I found myself in this cafe and I clocked that this guy had a pen. And I was like, okay, if I go and buy myself a cup of coffee, and maybe a piece of cake and sit there. He might be very kind and give me his pen. So I went in and bought a, <laughs> bought a coffee and I sat down and I asked if I could borrow his pen, first of all. So I sat there, like continuing to journaling and then I looked around me and I thought, oh my goodness, like this coffee shop is just full of like, it was full of, um, it was full of pensioners. <laughs> Let's put it this way. It's a very, very sleepy little seaside town. And I realized that I was sat there in a leopard print dress with a necklace that says, I am a ray of fucking sunshine. <laughs> and I was sat there and thought, oh my God, <laughs> like, um, I might actually offend someone here. Anyway, I got over that idea quite quickly because I thought clearly I'm not going to offend anyone I mean we're all adults here right um but yeah so it really gives a that gives a good example of you know probably those people in the cafe lovely 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 people but definitely not my clients whereas a few weeks ago no, probably about a month ago, I wore this. I was doing sales calls. Um, I probably had about four or five women that were contacting me um, for a connection call to ask for some help in their business. And then I knew at the end of those calls that, you know, if it felt like a good fit, I'd make an offer for them to come and work with me. So I wore this necklace and I got three new clients on that day. And all three of them were like, oh my God, I love your necklace. The necklace totally like attracted them in. Now, would I have probably, would they have said yes to work with me without the necklace? Probably, but it's kind of like a theme, right? So it's not just this necklace, it's other things that I wear um, that attract those clients in. And you can totally do that as well. And also another question that I want to you to ask yourself when you're putting on your accessories is like, how is it going to make me feel and how is it going to make other people feel? Because it's all very well me walking around with a necklace saying I am a rare fucking sunshine. But if it makes me feel uncomfortable, if I do feel like, oh my God, I feel really out of place here. I'm going to be offending people. Then it, it's like, it's not going to make me feel good. So why am I going to wear it? Like, have, what, have I got a point to prove? 
No, I just want to make things that make me feel good. And I certainly don't want to go around offending someone. So, you know, I wouldn't go and pick up like a, my friend's child from school wearing this necklace. <laughs> so I'm very conscious as well about, you know, how I'm coming across to others. And I want to represent myself in the right way. Now, does that mean that I'm going to tone myself down? No, it just means that I'm just being conscious about it and I'm being considerate about it and I'm con I am being considered about it. I'm making a decision. I'm not just throwing on anything. I'm like, okay, how do I want to feel today? Where am I today? How do I want to feel and how do I want to make others feel? Is this making sense? <laughs> Please comment below if it is. Okay, so we've got uh, I don't like, there's somebody else that's on this uh, live. There's some other people on this live actually, but I don't know who you are because I can't see your names because I'm live streaming. But Conscious Adornment, love this concept. You are a rain, <laughs> rain of epic sunshine though. <laughs> Thank you. I'd like to think so. Although I have to say I was not a ray of effing sunshine when I was trying to find that pen. <laughs> So it was quite funny because I was walking around with a necklace that said that, but quite clearly I wasn't. I was a ray of frustrated rain clouds because I couldn't find a pen in the supermarket. Hey, Sophia. Oh, well, you'll know all about environment and colours. And hey, here's your expert here, right here on Facebook. Contact Sophia about your about uh, feeling good through colors and like raising your vibration in that way. Okay. So here is my little assignment. My the the assignment from my camper van today. If you are willing to take it up. If you are willing to um step up to the challenge is to think about Mm, like the accessories that you wear what I would recommend that you do is to create little stories around them so you know like I've just created that story around my necklace and hopefully it makes you laugh and hopefully like you'll be like oh okay I quite like her might you know if you've never seen me before it might be okay I quite like her that's a funny story I'm gonna follow her or it might be actually no I don't like her she's a bit rude and brass and that you know that's absolutely fine because you're not my <laughs> you're not my tribe and that's fine that's absolutely fine you can go off and you, you probably want to work with someone that wears a nice gold you know like locket like a nice little delicate gold locket that's probably the person that you would like to follow instead of somebody like me that's showing up a little bit like you know I, I don't know. I don't know what I look like today. But anyway, I'm, go I'm going with the flow. I'm not really toning it down today. I absolutely realised. So create stories around them. So here's the thing, right? You walk into a, a networking event and you're wearing something and you're feeling really good. And it's a conversation starter. Um, I've got this beautiful crystal, this big amethyst that I wear a lot when I go to networking events. And without a doubt, I'll walk into a room and within a few seconds, somebody has come over and gone, oh my goodness, I love your necklace. Now that's brilliant, right? Because that person was probably looking for a, a way to come and break the ice and speak to me, or maybe just trying to break the ice and speaking to anyone. And also it's great for me because that's somebody that's just come up, up, up to me and had a conversation. So straight away, I'm like, hey, I'm here and I can have a little conversation with them. So it's great on all accounts. If someone comes up to you and compliments you on something that you're wearing, create a little story around it. You know, it's really funny. I heard somebody say, I can't, I don't, I can't remember who it was. Somebody said, you can always tell when somebody comes from a working class background because when you compliment them on their dress, they always tell you how much it was. <laughs> So, you know, somebody says to you, oh, I really like your dress. You go, oh, thanks very much. It was only £10 from Primark. <laughs> so instead of telling them how much it was, maybe create a story around it. So, for example, this ring that I have here, 
this is a beautiful ring i went on holiday with one of my best friends laura to um marrakesh um and um we went in the souks um, and um, if you've ever been to Marrakesh um, as a woman, um, you'll probably um, uh, relate to the fact that mm, you've just got to be like, you know, making sure that you're OK and uh, you've got your senses around you. It's very busy. Um, uh, yeah. Like, let's just put it that way. Like, you, ju you just, you've, you've just got to have your like spidey senses around you. So I was kind of like, just you know, looking around, making sure that I wasn't bring, drawing too much attention to myself. Like walking around the the, the little stores and not really getting too involved in conversations because I didn't want to get into hag, into haggling and buying things that I didn't want to buy. And I saw the most this ring. I was like, oh my god, it's absolutely. Right now, I lived in Turkey for three years and I got to be very, very good at negotiating, right? So I went up to him and had a little conversation with him and I managed to get him down to £50, which I think is very, very good for this ring. It's like, it's got a fair weight on it, right? It's, it's worth a lot more than that. So I got him down to £50, but me being me was like, oh, I'm just going to get him down a little bit more. Anyway, he wasn't having any of it. He was like, no, 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 no. He got really angry with me. And I was like, my ego got the better of me. So instead of going, okay, I'll get it. I was like, nah, it's too much. And I was like walking off. And Laura was like, you love that ring. I was like, no, no, no. He'll chase after us. He'll chase after us. Anyway, he didn't chase after us. And then all night I lay in bed and all I could think about was my ring. <laughs> I was literally like, I need my ring I need my ring anyway I got up at like seven o'clock in the morning we were due to fly home that afternoon and I went and very sheepishly went into the shop and I was like I'll have that ring if I can still have it for 50 pounds and he was like yeah go on then I was like thank you very much and that's my ring so that's my beautiful Marrakesh ring and wherever I go in the world I like to buy a ring I love to travel and I love to get jewellery that reminds me of the travelling. So that's just a little story around my ring. And if you think about it, it could be like a little conversation starter. You know, if you're at an event, it doesn't have to be that long, but you can sort of say, oh, you know, I got it in Marrakesh and I haggled him down and blah, blah. And straight away, you're having a conversation with that person and they might be like, oh, I've been to Marrakesh. It's very beautiful. Like, how long were you there for? Have you stayed in such and such a place? And then straight away, you've got something in common with them. So, uh, so accessories are a great way to build relationships with people, build relationships with them, get to know them, and then who knows where those relationships might lead to. You might just get a client um, from having those conversations at an event or doing a Facebook Live or putting a post. So that is my little assignment today have a little look at how can you consciously accessorize and then maybe even if it's just like a couple of items two or three items and um, create a little story don't make it up it's got to be true <laughs> that really helps um, but just make a little story around it. it doesn't have to be like exotic like Marrakesh it could be um, oh thank you very much 10 pounds from Primark <laughs> probably not say that but anyway um, so I would love to know what comes up for you with this um any aha moments i'd also love to you know what i'd really love for you to share um your stories around your um jewelry um and accessories so maybe drop it below um this, this will now be on a replay somewhere so maybe just drop it in the comments below because i'd really really love to know what your stories are because uh, I'd like to know more about you as well whether you know like you're one of my clients and we get to hang out every week or whether like you're completely new and I've never met you before in your life I would really love to know about the stories around your accessories okay I need to go and find a toilet somewhere because I'm dying for a wee too much information I know on a Facebook live but there you go. I feel like um, that's the way that I'm rolling at the moment in the camper van. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful day, whatever you are doing. Thank you so much for joining me live. And um, thank you for watching the replay if you are watching the replay. No Facebook Live next week. 
um, but I am going to be doing a live webinar at 7 p.m. UK time, and it's going to be all about human design, um, which is um, like a, an amazing like um, tool um, that I use in my business, that I use building relationships, and that, you know, something that I work a lot with on my clients. So um, look out um, for an email that will be coming out um, about that. Uh, if you're not on my email list um, and you want to be added, then you can always drop um, a little note underneath here or message me or send me an email at hello at abigailrebecca.com and I'll make sure that you get added to my email list so that you can, you'll know about the events. Oh, somebody's waving at me. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh my goodness, there's this amazing woman. She's got like a leopard print hat and she's just walked by and she was like standing there waving and going, I love your van. <laughs> We are soul sisters. We're leopard sisters. Um. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so, uh, so let me know. Uh, if you want to have, if you want to be on the list, um, I'll be sending out an email about that. Um. Well, the end of this week, actually, probably tomorrow over the weekend. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you for joining. I love you so much. You are hysterically funny today. Thank you very much. I'm here all week. Try the chicken. <laughs> Anyway, have a wonderful, I don't know why that's so funny, but I do like crack myself up sometimes. All right, have a wonderful, wonderful day, everyone. Mwah! Lots of love. Bye.